What's up, it's Andy. I'm here to give you some of my favorite selections today as I take on the house over at No House Advantage. The picks that I give you today are gonna be from the NFC Championship game as we got the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. If you haven't taken part in this contest before, let me tell you a little about it. No House Advantage, it's player props and fantasy in one simple, easy to use platform that combines them both. Today, we're taking part in the Verse the House contest where you can pick five player props, but it doesn't just have to be from this game or this sport. You can combine it across sports, and if you're right with all five, you make 21 times your money. It's a beautiful thing. Then there's also the Pick'em Contest, where the more that you pick correctly, it's like tournament style. The, the, the higher you go in the standings to that closer to a top prize, and we submitted picks for that uh, just before, so check that video out too when you get a chance. But the Verse the House Contest is five correct, 21 times your money and for a limited time if you go over to no house advantage using the link in the description of this video they're going to match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars you put in a hundred bet on this game put in a hundred bet on the next game i'm going to give you picks for as well could be a nice championship weekend you may be the nfc and afc champion after this weekend so looking at this game what i'm going to start with is christian mccaffrey I'm actually going to take the under on his rushing yards because we don't know exactly how healthy he is. And I believe the number that they have listed here is a little bit higher than his actual rushing total listed on like BetMGM and DraftKings and Caesar. So you give me a little advantage on no house advantage, and I'm going to take advantage of that advantage. I'm going to go under on Christian McCaffrey's rushing yards. I mean, even if he was completely healthy. I mean, he only had 10 carries last game because of that calf issue. But even if he was healthy, this Philadelphia defensive front at home, you know it's going to be aggressive. You know they're going to try to do everything they can to, to stop the run. And I'm kind of liking the under on Christian McCaffrey rushing yards. Also in that game, we got George Kittle on the 49ers, who has just been absolutely consistent while Brock Purdy's been under center. I think he's been the top tight end in the league, definitely the top performing tight end in terms of big catches, big spots. He had huge catches last week against the Cowboys, and it makes sense. When you have a rookie quarterback, what's the best way to get him easy completions over the middle to the tight end? He's got a great thing going with Kittle, and I don't really see a reason that this would end going into this Eagles game. The Eagles, who for decades, what's their Achilles heel? They can't stop the tight end. Ask somebody from Philly, they'll tell you. But I'm going to go over on the George Kittle receiving yards. Then looking at Brock Purdy on the road in a tough spot, I think Shanahan's going to design a bunch of quick screens, quick throws, so that it, it will slow down the pass rush, which is going to be going wild from the Philadelphia Eagles. They're obviously going to be amped up at home in front of that crowd that throws bottles at Santa Claus. And I think Shanahan is going to combat that by quick screens to Debo Samuel, things behind the line of scrimmage, quick, easy completions, which means I'm going to take the over on Brock Purdy completions. And then Debo Samuel, I'm going to take the over on his rushing and receiving total. And the reason I'm specifically choosing that one is because we don't know the health of the running back. Yeah, they took Christian McCaffrey off the practice report, but he didn't practice earlier in that week. And we saw them only use him on third downs in the second half of that game. So it's hard to just assume he's going to be fully healthy. Then Eli Mitchell also didn't practice all week. And we all know that he's made of glass. And I think we're going to be getting a bunch of touches out of the backfield from Debo Samuel in this one. So you allow me those touches combine that with his receiving yards I think they're going to be running a lot of design screens you're going to be getting a lot of Debo Samuel in this game if you ask me and those are the picks that I got for you on this Sunday for the NFC championship game as I try to take on the house but remember you don't just have to use from this particular game if you like Debo and you like Purdy but ah you like three more you can use picks from the other game you can use picks from another sport that's the beautiful thing about no house advantage and if you hate all of my picks Good news for you. You can go over to stochastic.com where they offer free projections and free optimal lineups for the No House Advantage contest. So make sure you take advantage of that advantage about No House Advantage on stochastic.com. And I will be back with you to talk AFC Championship. Take it easy. Subscribe to the channel here and I will talk to you soon.